Hey folks, Breakaway Home Center here. Uh, we've been having some pretty tremendous storms here lately. A lot of a lot of rain starting to lay down my tomatoes here in my garden. And so, uh, with a little uh, little bit of effort, you can uh, train these tomatoes back up and actually uh, bring them upright by using twine. And some people use tomato cages, but tomato cages these days are upwards to the amount of four to five dollars per cage and that's a lot of money so what i've done is i've devised a way a simple way to use ten stakes and twine to simply trellis them up per vine so go ahead and come with me and we'll go ahead and uh, get these tomato plants that have laid over because of the heavy rain and uh, get them upright again so they can continue growing so what I've got here is a steak from Walmart. And the good thing about these steaks is they're made of aluminum, they're lightweight, and they'll last forever as long as you continue to use them. So, and then what I got here is a dollar store ball of twine. Uh, and uh, it's got 200 feet on it. This is natural twine. It will decompose with everything else. So we're not worried about it being plastic. What you want to do is take the end of the twine, clear off this uh, rope here from the stake, place the twine through the hole. Little square knot will work just fine. If you want, you can do it two or three times. Nice and tight. So we're here. We have two tomato plants that are laying down because of the heavy rain. Let me trellis up this first plant. First, start by using your stake, but it's pushing it into the ground. You're going to push it very lightly. If you get resistance, pull it back up and go someplace closer to the plant elsewhere. Because if you get resistance, most likely there's a root there that you don't want to damage. And so I push it all the way down. It's quite quite uh, tight into the ground there. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull this plant up and uh, start wrapping it. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and measure this out so it reaches the top of the trellis. So we pull the twine to where it's high enough to reach over and bend over again all the way back to the ground. I'm going to go halfway up and that's going to be my spot where I cut the twine. The reason why you need so much is simply because it's cheap, it's inexpensive and the more the merrier if you're vine decides to get heavier you may have to pull it down a little bit so you have that extra room to uh to move it up or down so here we have the plant that's lying down and what we want to do is make it upright to where it'll stay upright so it can hold the load of the tomatoes as they grow as the tomatoes get heavier and heavier they're going to fall over anyway so that's why we're going to head and line these or trellis these up to the pole above. Now before I decide to pull this up and start twining, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this plant and take out all the suckers. Now the sucker of a plant is a part of the plant that's there for no particular reason. And what it's doing is it's causing that plant to pull more energy towards that particular part of the plant and not doing what it's supposed to be doing, and that's making tomatoes. Now also, there's a defensive me uh, mechanism inside the plant. So when you pull these uh, unnecessary leaves uh, or, or small vines from the plant, it wants to, uh, to create fruit faster. And so it'll make your plants grow faster and make your plants more vigorous to uh, uh, creating fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and search for this and pull any suckers that might be on here.
and if your suckers are too big feel free to pull your knife out and cut them that way it'd be easier nice little trim So this plant right here, this is the sucker of the plant. You got your main vines that come up and then you have the small plant. So you can go ahead and pull that off. If you have any suckers that are larger, you can use a knife on them. So now that I got my suckers cut, my stakes in the ground, my twine's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and lift this plant up and start wrapping it. I'm going to wrap around the main vine of the plant. And you want to do this very lightly. You don't need a whole lot of wraps to get your plants upright. And you want to do the minimum possible because it'll be the least evasive to the plant. And you're going around the base of the or actually the the main vine to where you get your plant just barely upright so now that it's upright I'm going to go ahead and tie it up so to tie this off it's very simple you simply keep it tight enough to where it'll keep your plant upright not too tight to where it's pulling it from the ground tight enough to where it'll stay upright. Simple loop inside. You can do what's called a half hitch. It's like you tie your shoes. And that's going to keep in place. So if any time you ever want to pull this down to adjust it, I like just pull it down and loosen it up. So the top of this plant is flopped over and I left it flopped over for a reason. Uh, what I want to do is show you as the plant goes how to correct the plant upright. And so when you come across your plant that's growing a little bit more and it's to the point where it's flopping over like that, you're going to want to correct the main vine onto the twine. So to do that, you just lift it up, wrap it around until you feel comfortable that it's good enough. Now it is ready to grow more and as it grows we'll continue to wrap it around the twine until it grows all the way up so i sure hope you enjoyed that uh, tidbit of information about trellising or, or vining your plants up uh, with twine and uh, one more thing i have to say about tomato plants they are nightshade plants if you or anybody you know are allergic to tomatoes once you're done here and you've handled tomato plants be sure to go in and either take a shower take your clothes off change them and uh, wash your hands uh, before you get anybody clo close to anybody with uh, uh, an allergic reaction to uh, tomatoes because uh, these little hairy parts right here put off their, their scent and uh, their oils all over you so I suggest if you are a little bit allergic to uh, tomato plants to, to use gloves on your hands as well. And so I'm the Breakaway Homesteader. Sure hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did uh, and you like it, hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate your time. Have a good day.